This is a Poke Press Special Report. Hi everyone, Stephen here with part two of our look behind the scenes of my writing of Do What You Do, the parody of Do What You Do by NXS. So I took the first step today, which is to transcribe the lyrics from the original song, write those out. Um, I do that for pretty much all my parodies. have to listen to the song. Well, on iTunes it only shows like four or five or six times. But uh, to actually much more than that because I keep skipping backwards to re-listen to lyrics to try and make them match up. This one is uh, fairly interesting but fairly standard as well. One thing you have to be careful about is actually that uh, sometimes there's more than one note per syllable um, because they'll they'll sustain on it uh, but change the pitch. And... um, have to try and reflect that here so it it reads better. One other problem is that uh, Michael Hutchins from NXS was never known for his diction, so some of the words are kind of difficult to make out. But like I said, listen to it. Maybe if you count all the re-listens duration, enough to listen to the whole thing through, I guess, 10 or 15 times. There are some interesting portions here. Um, First off, there are basically two verses, and then there's the chorus, and then the second, uh, actually I should say the first verse gets repeated again, then another chorus, and then we have a a bridge section. It has this part that was very difficult for me to transcribe. It's where Michael's just doing these yeah, 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 you know, a variety of times and varying it up a little. I think for the bridge of my parody, what I'm probably going to do is um, have some sort of conversation between Duat and the uh, unnamed trainer who the song is about, and uh, where they're discussing, you know, what's going on with the tournament. Obviously, Duat can't really talk, so it's going to be all, you know, affirmative or dismissive type things. But anyway, after that bridge, we come to the last... Uh, go through the chorus, and that's the entire song. There aren't too many actual lyrics with this, but what I'm going to try to do is to vary things up a little between the choruses, and that'll probably be the first part of the song I also write the parody for. That's often how I start. So that's a little bit of a tour there. Like I said, eventually here pretty soon I'm going to start writing actual new lyrics, so we'll see how that goes. Thanks. This has been a Pokepress Special Report.